it's me, Red, aka Jewelry Box Paradox. And today I am starting off my vlog about my trip to Atlanta. I just finished packing and I'm just waiting for my ride to get here. honestly enjoying this walk because it's 60 degrees outside and honestly to me that feels warm right now like 60 degrees feels so warm in comparison to Portland right now do you know how to drink about Marley? Do, do I know how to drink? No, about Marley. Do you know no. About okay, look. Am I supposed What's to like... Yeah, so you go to take a sip and then you gotta come over the come on, 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 Oh, okay. It is 70 degrees outside and I am low key super excited. got a couple things that can hold me over for a few days because I had to do that 10 minute walk so I didn't get too much stuff um, but one thing I did find at this grocery store which I haven't been able to find at any grocery stores in Portland are these Bic razors the Flex 5 titanium Bic razors they are so good and like I have tried I wouldn't say I've tried a ton of different razors but I've tried a lot of razors and this one just gets so close to the skin, like it just cuts, like it doesn't hurt, it doesn't snag, um, but it also like gets all the hair. So I'm now ready to go to the club and I just thought it might be cool to show you guys like what's in my bag. I take uh, one pair of shoes, I have two outfits, my makeup, my hairbrush, I take a phone charger. This is something that I learned the hard way. You don't wanna be stuck at the club without a ride home. Uh, my work phone. I have like some essentials, um, my money bag where I keep um, just things I want to keep with me on the floor, um, such as gum, dry hands, I have my business cards for my centerfold. And don't forget deodorant. <laughs> Just about ready for tonight, day two. Working at Onyx in Atlanta. It's Friday night, so it's going to be a busy night. Everybody was telling me tonight's probably going to be really good. I didn't end up filming anything else from last night. Um, I have some bad news, y'all. Last night didn't really go well. Um, I don't know if it was because I was in my head or because I was intimidated because there were a lot more girls last night and it was just a lot busier. I think I got intimidated um, and I wasn't walking around with the confidence that I normally have and I was not demanding the attention that I normally demand and because of that I feel like I sort of just fell through the, the cracks of the money um, I made a bit of money it's not like I left with nothing but 
I'm definitely disappointed in myself. I feel like I could have went harder. Um, tonight I have a couple things I'm gonna do differently. fun um i am just starting to realize that i think onyx would is like a great club if you have like a group of girls that you can work with um but as a solo uh, dancer it's kind of hard to make the big money at onyx but you know you can still make a couple hundred dollars pretty easily from working the floor but the booths is where you really want to be to make the big money and in order to get into the booth um, five girls can go into a booth and the minute that people show up to the booth, like a flock of girls goes over there. And usually the way it works is like, one girl will get picked and her four friends. So it's very difficult to get into those booths as a solo person. So I'm going to keep trying at Onyx, but I'm also going to try Oasis and Blue Flame. So I'm, today is Sunday, all the strip clubs are closed on Sunday here in Atlanta. So I'm going to audition at Blue Flame and Oasis tomorrow. Um, and then work at Oasis tomorrow night. I'm only chasing at the bags, now I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the whoop, 700, three out fives, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh my God, that massage I got was literally so needed. It's not even funny. Now I'm just walking Back to my Airbnb, just chilling, honestly, just big chilling, feeding myself massages, just showing myself some love today. Um, I called Blue Flame and I called Oasis and they're both not taking auditions. So I'm just gonna stay at Onyx and we're just gonna, we're just gonna bust it out. I made an appointment to get my eyelashes filled at 2.30. I finished getting my lashes done and this woman really did such an amazing job just laying here in bed because I ordered some groceries on Uber Eats. So, um, yeah, I'll just talk about last night. Last night I sold my first section and it was a Monday. It was super slow, only one booth came in and I scored the booth because I was in there and there were like 10 girls in there and they could only pick five. And one of the guys was like, he noticed my tattoos and he was like, what made you got like Japanese style tattoos and like started a conversation with me about that. And so I bonded with him for like a second. And so then I got into the booth. I'm really starting to feel a little bit more confident at this club. I'm gonna stay at Onyx since the other clubs aren't hiring right now. So I'm just gonna stay at Onyx. I am gonna work tonight. I ate just some, like some groceries that I picked up yesterday um, that I got delivered. So I just ate like a little bit of food, like at breakfast, even though it's like afternoon. And I'm just gonna start editing this YouTube video in the meantime. And then I'm gonna get ready for work and work again. I'm just gonna work this whole week. 
Good morning. So I actually didn't end up going to work last night. So I woke up a few hours ago and I ate and I'm just editing my YouTube video. I'm gonna do a workout because I haven't worked out since I've been here. And um, after I do a workout, I'm just gonna get ready for work and eat some more. I showered and worked out and now I'm just eating some fried rice um, that I got from a restaurant yesterday. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair at the club, but I'm not going to get ready till I get there because I fucking hate sitting there and I get there at 8pm and nobody shows up until like 11 or 12. So I kind of hate wasting my time. So I'm thinking of doing like a centerfold live while I get ready there. We'll see. Maybe I'll do an Instagram live. I don't know. We'll see. today I just chilled in the house but I took a shower and I'm ready to head to work tonight it's Thursday last night was really slow came home just kind of went to sleep <laughs> I am ready to make some money everyone keeps telling me like you got to be consistent at this club to make money and then one night is gonna be really good and that's just the way it is I don't know what's going on um, I talked to some other people they told me wear like more string bikinis since you're skinnier like blah blah blah, blah. I had a bunch of people tell me all this all kinds of stuff so I'm just trying something new tonight I'm gonna wear a string bikini and yeah we'll see how it goes I have been MIA I know um, honestly Thursday and Friday, I was just working and eating, and when I work like back-to-back -back days, I just kind of hermit. it, like, I just buckle down and work, and I did not get much footage from the past couple days, but I've had some good days here at the clubs. Thursday and Friday were both really good, so I'm excited for tonight. I'm finally getting to hang in this club, and it really excites me. I really don't want to go home. Sunday. I've just been chilling today, relaxing, kicking back, and now I'm going to dinner with my friend at a brewery. Hey y'all, um, I look like a mess right now. Uh, last night after dinner, my throat started hurting, and my throat has still been hurting today. <laughs> I look like me, yes. It is Tuesday. I woke up this morning feeling so much better. I'm leaving for Tampa, Florida tomorrow. Tonight I'm going to, um, well this afternoon I'm going to my friend's house. We're gonna go make pizza so that I can see her one more time before I leave. And then I'm gonna be working at Onyx tonight one more time. <laughs> So I went to the sex store called Tokyo Lab and came out here and I wanted to pick up some new stuff since I'm going to go to Miami. And I got a new pipe so that it'll be easier to smoke weed in these places that weed is illegal. So it was pretty cute, seems pretty high quality. Um, I also got this blue bandeau top 
kind of cool. Um, I'll probably wear this today, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I got these white panties to go with it. And put this little like prettier accent in the front. I got this like slingshot type bikini outfit in red. I got this <laughs> patent leather pink hot pink bikini just because I thought it was such a vibe. Um, I got this girder. It's got like multiple straps and it's like got a, a little heart in the front. I got this cool bikini. It's like tiger but it's gold, which is just so me. Um, I got this green and white bikini, which I just, I don't know why, I just feel like it'll look good on me. And these are the matching bottoms. good last night it was solid last night it was kind of slow but i still did my shit and i made some money um i'm about to pack all my shit so that i can just wake up roll out of bed go to my lash appointment head to the airport and then yeah then we're off to miami and this flag is over so i just want to let y'all know that it was a fun last night and that i love atlanta and i'll be back you, 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 you,